Hi! Welcome back. Let's sing a song we all know, The Church of Jesus Christ. I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I know who I am, I know God's plan, I'll follow Him in faith. I believe in the Savior Jesus Christ, I honor His name. I'll do what is right, I'll follow His life, His truth I will proclaim. Good job! A little bit different than normal, but this is going to be the way it is for a while. This morning, we want to talk to you about Mosiah 18 through 24. And it starts with Alma and his people being baptized at the waters of Mormon. Let's watch this little video. Based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, Another Testament of Jesus Christ. Here are the waters of Mormon. And now, as ye are desirous to come into the fold of God and to be called His people, and are willing to bear one another's burdens that they may be light. Yea, and are willing to mourn with those that mourn, and comfort those that stand in need of comfort, and to stand as witnesses of God at all times, and in all things, and in all places that ye may be in, even until death, that ye may be redeemed of God, and be numbered with those of the first resurrection that ye may have eternal life. Now I say unto you, if this be the desire of your hearts, what have you against being baptized as a witness that ye have entered into a covenant with him, that ye will serve him and keep his commandments, that he may pour out his spirit more abundantly upon you? Alma. This is the desire of our hearts. Elam, I baptize thee, having authority from the Almighty God, as a testimony that you have entered into a covenant with him to serve him until you are dead as to the mortal body. And may the Spirit of the Lord be poured out upon you, and may he grant unto you eternal life. Through the redemption of Christ, whom he has prepared from the foundation of the world, shows that Alma and his people are baptized just like we are today. And I know some of you have been baptized and some of you haven't yet. But when we're baptized, we make a promise to our Heavenly Father. And then he has 
promises that he makes to us also. And the first thing we promise is to take upon us the name of Jesus Christ. So even in the prayer, we hear that promise. To serve God and others. I promise to obey the commandments. I promise to always remember him. And if you think about it, we say that each Sunday in the sacrament, one of the reasons that we take the sacrament. And I promise to stand as a witness of Jesus. In everything we do, we're an example. Like Alma and his people, because they followed Abinadi, they were also treated meanly and eventually had to leave because of the way they were treated. But they never gave up. They never stopped believing and keeping their promises. So because of that, our Heavenly Father promises to forgive me of my sins when I repent. So that's a pretty cool thing. To always have the Holy Ghost to be with me. And there's nothing more special than to know you have someone with you all the time to guide and protect you. And Heavenly Father promises that I can return to live with Him. And what a wonderful thing that is to know that we will be able to join our Heavenly Father and those that we love. There are some things when we are baptized. And in Mosiah, if you don't have your scriptures, take a minute and run and get your scriptures so that you can Turn follow to Mosiah chapter 18. And we're going to start on chap um, verse 17. And it says, And they were called the church of God and the church of Christ from that time forward. And it came to pass that whosoever was baptized by the power and authority of God was added to his church. So one of the things we need to do is... Be baptized. And it came to pass that Alma, having the authority from God, ordained priests, even a priest, every 50 of their number did he ordain to preach unto them. Do we have ordained priests now? We do, just like way back when Alma... And he commanded them that they should teach nothing, save it were the things which he had taught and which had been spoken. By the mouth of the holy prophets. Do we have a prophet today? We do, just like when Alma was the prophet. Something else we can do. What do we need to do every Sunday, even though this is really hard right now, but by watching the primary video and maybe you watch other church videos, and as you have church in your own home, we're asked to attend church and to keep the Sabbath day holy. And that might be seem pretty easy, but we see lots of people that are doing things on Sunday that we know we shouldn't. Our Heavenly Father has asked us to make today a special day and to keep it holy. In all things we're asked to do, we're asked to give thanks. And where do we get everything we have from? We get that from our Heavenly Father. And he loves us. And I can only imagine how happy it makes him when we get on our knees and we say our prayers. Jump into verse 27 and 28, we read. And again, Alma commanded that the people of the church 
should impart their substance, everyone according to that which he had. If ye have more abundantly, he should impart more abundantly, and of him that has little, but little should be required to him that should not be given. And thus they should impart their substance of their own free will and good desires towards God. And to those priests that stood in need, yea, and to every needy naked soul. Do you know what? That says when you should give a, a substance of their own free, of their own choice. They're talking about tithing. Tithing, the money that we make, the, that we can, if we have a lot of money. Can you give more than 10%? You could. What if I don't have very much money? But you give that 10% and more, if you can, with fast offerings. But did you know they paid tithing even back? when Alma was teaching the people and was the prophet. Hi, for music time today, I brought some special guests. This is Jensie, my granddaughter. Hi. And this is Jensie and my other granddaughter. <laughs> and we have two more, they don't want to come on camera. Oh my goodness. So they're gonna sing with us today. We're gonna sing, When I Am Baptized. Remember the first verse sings about, I like to look for Yes, Unicorns. No. no. No? Oh, rainbows. That's right. I like to look for rainbows. Here we go. that talked about Abinadi. Let's review by singing Book of Mormon stories and adding on that verse about Abinadi again, okay? All right, here we go. Come Mormon stories that my teacher tells to me are about the Lamanites in ancient history. Long ago their fathers came from far across the sea. Give this land if they live righteously. Lamanites met others who were seeking liberty. And soon welcomed all who wanted to be free. Book of Mormon stories say that we must brothers be. 
goodness, man, if we live righteously. Don't forget a Benedict. Who's it? Don't clean up from head to toe. He did bring. If he would deny it, then the king would set him free. He was true, and he died righteously. Thank you. That was very good. Don't forget about a band of die. And just because it's getting warmer doesn't mean we can forget about honoring the Sabbath day. So when you're doing these songs, just think about this is our Sunday primary. We get to do it at home. All right. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you for joining us for primary and for singing so nicely and for having your scriptures. And I want you to know how much I love Heavenly Father. And I know that he will be there to make those things that I have to go through much e easier. And that just like the time of Alma's people, that sometimes God can strengthen us. He won't necessarily take all those burdens away, but he will help to make us strong and be able to handle the things that come in life. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a wonderful Sabbath day. We love you. We miss you. And we'll see you next week.